On the web, performance is everything. If your website is slow and janky, you are going to lose money. That's a fact that's been proven by science. What sucks is that it's often not your fault that your website is slow. What happens is your first boss tells you you need to add Google Analytics, then your second boss wants to add Facebook Pixel, and boss number three wants to add an intercom chat widget. All these tools require JavaScript and will clog up the main thread on the initial page load. When you run a Lighthouse report, you'll get a very high blocking time because all these scripts are competing to work on the main thread. And sadly, Sadly, the person who gets blamed for this poor performance is you, the developer, while your bosses get nice big Christmas bonuses. Luckily though, there's a new open source library called Party Town that can make everybody happy by running these scripts synchronously in a web worker, and in this video, you'll learn exactly how to use it. To get started, I want to demonstrate the problem very clearly. As you can see here, I have an HTML page with a script in the body. You can imagine this script as a third-party resource that will harvest the personal information of your users in order to serve them advertisements that will more effectively separate them from their money. In this script, we have a while loop that does nothing for a while, and what you'll notice is that if we run a lighthouse report, everything looks good except for this one render blocking activity. It says we need to reduce the JavaScript execution time. This is actually a really insidious performance problem because what happens is the page content will load, but nothing is interactive. That means if people try to click on buttons that require JavaScript, they just won't work. It's like a zombie website. And by the way, Party Town comes from the same team behind the Quick framework, and those guys are absolutely obsessed with performance. The way it works is it designates scripts that are not essential to the initial page load, such as marketing tools like Google Tag Manager and Facebook Pixel, or optional widgets like Intercom, and moves them over to a web worker. You see, JavaScript is single-threaded, which means it can only do so much at one time. Web workers are a way to take non-essential things and run them in the background on a totally separate thread. Let's go ahead and see it in action. I'm running a vanilla JS project here with Vite, and the first thing I'll do is install the Party Town library. Once that's done, we can find any scripts that we don't want to block the main thread and change them to type text party town. This is how you designate what should run in a web worker. Once that's done, they have integration guides for all kinds of different frameworks like Next.js, Nuxt, and Spillkit, so you'll want to follow the guide for your framework. In my case though, I'm using Vanilla.js. Now one thing that's unique about this library is that it uses a service worker, which means it can't be hosted on an external CDN. That means you'll need to copy and host its JavaScript code alongside your website. Luckily, it provides a utility to simplify this process. If we go into the package JSON file, we can create a script called Party Town that runs this copy lib command that will copy all the necessary code into the public directory. Go ahead and run that command from the terminal, and you should now see all the Party Town files in the public directory. And that brings us to our final step, where we actually run Party Town. It recommends that you inline this script directly into your code. Again, there are integrations for all the major frameworks, but in Vanilla.js, what I'm doing is creating a module script, then importing the Party Town snippet from the library. That's the code we want to inline, so I'm creating a new script element in the DOM, then using the snippet as the inner text. And finally, we append that script to the body to run it. That takes care of that, and I'll also point out that if you want to add any config options to Party Town, you can create an additional script above it to handle things like forwarding for Google Tag Manager. And now if we run the application through another Lighthouse performance analysis, you can see we get a nearly perfect score with zero milliseconds of blocking JavaScript. That's great news for the end user, but even better news for you, the developer, because now people will stop blaming you for those horrible performance scores. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.